All right, well, let's talk a little bit about blood flow to the same area real quick um, for a couple of different reasons. First of all, you know, erections, they got to have blood flow, got to have good blood flow. Okay, it's an essential. You got to have it. It's not sufficient. You got to have more than just blood flow, but you got to have the right biochemicals and all that other stuff. But this is really important. So any kind of constriction on this will, like we talked about the fascial system constricting on this will make a, uh, in, uh, a problem, but also neurologically, we were just talking about the vagus nerve. You know, these, let's go back to this motor unit real quick. Here we go. Motor neuron, okay, neuromuscular junction. Once again, just to remind you, nothing happens, right? The muscle doesn't do anything unless the nervous system tells it to. So if you're in the parasympathetic nervous system, you're relaxed, right? Your vagus nerve's activated, you're, you're relaxed. Um, then, you know, what's going to happen is the muscles, these muscles are going to relax, okay? They're going to relax and that's going to help the erection, going to help the blood flow go into the erection. It's going to help it so that um, you're not going to have as much constrictions on any blood flow that's coming through here. And that's just the skeletal muscle. There's also innervation into the muscle of the uh, vessel itself, right? So I hope that's clear. So the skeletal muscle, like for instance, we used the iliopsoas here a second ago, you know, this particular big muscle, it's innervated. So if it's in the parasympathetic nervous system, so it can relax, okay, then blood flow, any kind of constriction on this blood flow, it's going to help it. It's going to help relieve some of that constriction. Okay, you might have to do more, like some myofascial release, to really take care of all of it. But even just simple relaxation is going to help because it's going to, once again, cause these muscles to relax. So, but each vessel has its own muscles. Okay, not not just the skeletal muscles, but what's called smooth muscle, and that's what allows the um, the vessel itself to constrict or open up okay so this is actually showing the smooth muscle fibers that are inside of each one of these vessels and uh so when it gets a signal you know from the parasympathetic nervous system it relaxes it allows these to spread out when it uh, gets signals from the sympathetic nervous system fight or flight okay it constricts okay um so you know, that's, <laughs> that's part of the issue there. That's, that's another reason that this neuromuscular concept is so important is it actually applies to blood flow itself in the vessels because that's how vessels open and close through smooth muscle. And once again, muscles don't do anything unless the nervous system tells it to. Okay. That's why it's so important to be able to get one of the reasons, many reasons, to be able to get into that parasympathetic nervous system. And the vagus nerve is one of the more powerful ways to do it, especially under conscious control. All right, let's look at some of these other pictures. This is, this is really important, too, because if we look at this, what this is showing, let's see if I can put this into context for you. Mm, I don't think I have an actual blood vessel slide. But this is, if we look at, um, if you picture a blood vessel, okay, the very inside of that blood vessel is coated with what's called endothelial cells, okay? And that's where nitric oxide is produced. So very important, nitric oxide is released from the endothelial cell, which causes the blood vessel to open up even more. So more blood flow comes through. Okay, right on the other side of that endothelial cell is the smooth muscle I'm talking about. This is what either relaxes to open up or contracts to constrict the muscle. Okay, so what's important here, what's interesting here, is I've talked about the past how those endothelial cells are so important because they release nitric oxide. But what also releases nitric oxide is the cavernous nerve that goes... Um, into the chambers of the penis itself. So that nerve, okay, will uh, release nitric oxide. Okay, so that's another way. And once again, if these nerves are constricted through like fascial constrictions or so, they're not going to function as well as they would otherwise. 
Okay, so it's really important that we not only have really healthy endothelial cells, but that these cavernous nerves are working the way they should so that we can, we have nitric oxide from any direction that we need in order to, to get and sustain those erections. And let's see, this is just one more picture that is sort of illustrating the same thing. So you can see here's the endothelial cell producing nitric oxide primarily through the um, uh, amino acid L-arginine uh, turns into nitric oxide, uh, which relaxes the uh, smooth muscle cell, goes in, creates CGMP. But here is the cavernous nerve and how it releases nitric oxide directly and then causes the relaxation of the smooth muscle. Once again, a very important part of the neuromuscular system. So I hope you can see now just how prevalent and how important this neuromuscular system is. And that's why it's one of the main things, one of those four main keys right inside of the body-mind connection. Okay, And once again, what's more important is learning how to control these muscles, having fine control over them versus just brute strength. Because brute strength won't do anything for your lasting power. In fact, it can make your lasting power a lot worse because now you're chronically tight. Okay, So you want strength, but not at the expense of control and flexibility. That's, um, that would be like going to the gym and only working on strengthening and never stretching out, which really starts to constrict your blood flow, right? Because now you're so tight. Okay, you want the strengthening, but you want the flexibility too, and you want the control, okay? And that's what's way more important, and that's what plays into this sexual power, okay? When you, ha when you have true control over this, then you have much more sexual power, and that power is not just brute force, that's lasting power as well. Right? Having that ability to do that. Um, this neuromuscular part of this is one of the most important parts when it comes to lasting power, lasting as long as you want. This is one of the most important parts, at least from a physical perspective, here on the Impact Point Matrix. If you would like help with your unique and personal situation from us, I put a link below that will explain all the different ways that we can help you get and maintain superior stage four rock solid hardness and lasting power both permanently and naturally at any age. Make sure you like and subscribe for more tips to attain elite level bedroom performance and I will see you in the next one.